Back locally now, despite a successful season for the Costa Cup and Olivier Shield champions Clarendon College, it wasn't an easy journey for the Chapleton based school who lost their assistant team manager before one of their most crucial matches of the season. The town of Chapleton is used to being painted blue and yellow, and that was again the case on Saturday as celebrations were well and truly underway as they paraded through the streets with their chests held high. Coach Lenny Hyde is proud of his team despite their blunder against Kingston College in the Champions Cup semi-finals. Yeah man, feel great, feel good, feel accomplished. We accomplished what we set out to achieve this season. We had wanted the, other, the, the Champions Cup, but such is the case. We tried our best, but we want the more prestigious one, the Dacosta the, the Cup and the Olivia Shield. So it's good to see that we get back our titles that we lost the year before. CC secured titles in the midst of adversity as team manager Neville Peart died just a few hours before they secured their 10th Dacosta Cup title and a few days before they won their sixth Olivier Shields crown. As I said in a previous interview, the only thing man love more than CC football and fiancé is a very dedicated person and he died in the line of duty. I mean, it just touching, but while I'm happy we did it for him, I'm just sad he's not here to celebrate with us. We'd love that. Their captain, Malachi Douglas, credited his mentality as the reason he was able to navigate the long season. Well, you know, as the captain and also a national player, you, know, you have to be strong. So, yeah, I just keep a positive mindset and go forward. Recovery is already on the mind of Lenny Hyde as he looks forward to the Caribbean High School Football Championship in January. Just have a rest now and prepare that the, the Trinidad team is coming down. So, so we are going to prepare for them, uh, get a little rest, uh, celebrate our victory now, and then we look forward to that, like, like the tournament coming up. Qualifying for the Caribbean Championship begins on January 13. Jerome Foster, TVJ Sports.